So today I'm gonna show you a brand new broker. I'm gonna show you how to set it up. I'm gonna show you how to set all the indicators up and I'm gonna show you how to do a live trade on the broker. I'm gonna place a live trade for y'all, you know what I'm saying? So let's get into the video. Working at nine to five, I had to go and feed the gods. Nobody did it right, I had to show them how to go. I had to be the hard, this is the life I live for God. Taking a step at a time, we going up, we headed to Mars. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable video for you, man. What's up, family? I already know how we doing. I'm talking about we coming to this thing ready to make some paper. But look, I'm explaining this to y'all right now. You need two brokers, right? We was talking about the compound plan. So I got pocket options and I got Quotex, all right? So the link is in the description below. Make sure you sign up to the broker today. All right, because I'm gonna show you how to set it up in this video, right? So you need to, the reason why, let me break this down. So with pocket options, the minimum deposit, meaning the amount that you could put in, the smallest amount you could put in is $50. With Quotex, it's $10. Crazy, ain't it? Look, so you could deposit at least ten dollars into the broker. Uh, pocket options withdrawal is 150, Quotex is a 500. So you basically got to make 150 to be able to withdraw on pocket options, and you got to make 500 to withdraw on uh, Quotex. All right, uh, yeah, so you need two though, because like I said, pocket options can be like your everyday money. Like you can withdraw every day on there if you want to, and then you can compound on Quotex or vice versa, however you wanna do it, but at least those two, you'll be able to do some major things with, all right? So before we start this video, make sure you thumbs it all the way up for the YouTube algorithm, man. I appreciate y'all for subscribing and watching, man. A lot of people been hitting me up on the new channel, so I love it. Man, but you know we gotta do a scripture of the day, it's only right. Galatians 6, 9, do not grow weary and doing good for you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Plain and simple, man, all that's saying is, if you're doing good, right? Let's say you're doing Forex binary or real estate or doing hair or something, and you have a good reason for doing it, right? You wanna take care of your family, you wanna take care of somebody else. If you're doing good, just do not give up and you will reap the harvest that you want. You know what I'm saying? That's all that's saying. That's all that's saying. Don't give up. I've been telling y'all forever, just don't give up, keep going, and eventually it will come to pass, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, uh, do not fall for the scams in the comment section. I'm not on WhatsApp, I'm not going to be hitting you up on WhatsApp. I'm not gonna trade for you, I'm not gonna do none of that stuff. So comment your Cash App and your Bitcoin below, because I do be doing giveaways on this channel, and then my Jeremy Cash Young CEO channel, I do give a, uh, giveaways over there too, so make sure y'all follow that. But without further ado, let's hop into this video. Yo, what's up, y'all? So right now, we're on the new broker, you can get this broker in the description below. Sign up to it, uh, get familiar with it. So I'm gonna walk you through some things on this particular broker. What you will notice is that this broker, you know, the interface does not, you know, it may not look as good as pocket options, but when it comes to manipulation, I ain't found that, you know what I'm saying? So if, if you've been complaining about pocket options and manipulating trades and stuff like that, we do got this broker as well. I still use pocket options, of course. Y'all yeah, know that I got two brokers, this one and pocket options, all right? First thing you wanna do when you get over here, man, um, is you wanna go here and you wanna put indicators on your chart or, you know, you can go here to the little settings bar down here to the bottom left. You can click that. You got choices between, you know, light mode, real bright, twilight, or full night. I like full night, you know, keep it dark, keep it dark, you know what I'm talking about? And then, um, you go down here, you could change the candlestick colors so your uptrend can be blue or whatever. You could just go in here and mess with that. Your downtrend, you could change those colors. All right, we'll keep this thing moving. You can also upload a background picture. So I'm just gonna pick this from my Forex channel. I'm just gonna pick this. Uh, so you could upload a picture for your background like that. Uh, and then you have the choice of making it like, um, the opacity to be like real bright and all that so you can see the full thing or you can just make it a little bit. But right now I'm not gonna have no background on my stuff so let me delete that off of there, hold on. Bop, there we go, all right? So that's that's that uh, in this, in this uh, segment. And then if you come here on your chart, you click the little pencil icon and then all of your indicators and stuff will pop up. So you know, we use the uh, Keltner channel, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there. Uh, you can use whatever, you know, works best for you. Uh, oh, my bad, my bad job. I told y'all the wrong thing. So this right here is where you can get like the Fibonacci, your support and resistance lines, uh, the rectangle. So I click on the rectangle right here, just so you will know like how to set up support and resistance and stuff like that. So you could use that. Uh, and if you want to delete it, just hit the trash can. 
if you come down here to the very bottom, where it's like this little uh, ruler slash whatever this is, you click on that. <laughs> then you'll find your zigzag. So we will need the zigzag. So I click on that. All right, and then right here, you can change the colors of it. Okay. You make it bigger, smaller. What I did notice about this, it seems a little easier to use, uh, which is cool. You can click back on this again. And then you can go find like a moving average. So if I wanted to do like the 200 moving average, I would just come here at the top, put 200. I will go here to EMA for exponential. And I would change mine to like blue. And then you can make it thicker or smaller, depending on how you want to do it. Uh, and then from there, I go back here again. And I go to the Keltner channel. Uh, I could leave everything that and two, you could change the colors of the Keltner if you want it to just be blue, like the middle to be blue, you know, all that, the shadow, everything to just be blue, you could do that. So it looks something like that. All right, and then from there, uh, also real quick, if you ever wanted to delete it, your uh, indicators and stuff will be right here on the chart. Like it's small, but you can see you just hit the X, uh, delete whatever you don't like and then you should be good also the stochastic you can go there and get the stochastic um the settings my bad the settings for the stochastic i got 92 and 6 so i'm gonna click on that where it says overbought level 92 oversold level 96 uh yeah and you can keep it sma keep this the same um and then if you want to change the colors of the stochastic you can do that as well and that's pretty much it on the broker as far as that. I mean, they do got like, um, they do got a marketplace and stuff in here. They got signals. Uh, they got a marketplace where you can buy stuff kind of like on pocket options where you kind of get achievements and stuff like that. Uh, they got that. Uh, everything is pretty much the same from that point. Over here to the right is where you get your time limits. Now, I will say this, with this broker, they do not have 15 seconds. They do not have five seconds. They don't have 30 seconds. I think the highest you can go is a minute um, on this one. I mean, the lowest you can go is a minute, and then for the highest is whatever, like an hour or whatever. But uh, you could also click on this, switch time, if you wanna go like the bigger time frames, or you could just click this to go to like one minute, and then you can go up from there, stuff like that. Or you could just click directly on it, go to three minutes, five minutes, 30 minute trade, two hour trades, and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my three minute trade. Uh, right here is where you could put you know, the money in that you want. So, or you could just click on it and type in the amount. And then they got the up and the down arrows for your buy and sell. Uh, yeah. So that's what it's looking like, y'all. That's what it's looking like. All right, and then uh, what else they got? Let's see. Anything else y'all need to know? They got full screen here. Uh, analytics for you to see how much you made and stuff like that your trades and I think that's it oh the pairs so right here you'll see a plus sign all right so you click that and then they do have these pairs right here all right so this is where you see the pairs you can see the percentages all right they do got OTCs at certain times uh, and then they do have the other ones they're just the normal forex pairs now they do got like you see currency they got crypto but the percentage is trash commodities the percentage is good on here uh, and then indices and those percentages are trash 20 percent, 25 percent. so most of the time you probably just gonna be on the currencies they do not have stocks uh and stuff like that so just to let you know but for the most part i know when you're doing a compound plan and stuff like that we're doing a lot of long-term trades anyway so it really don't matter either one it don't matter but this is why i got two brokers just in case one be trying to play your boy you know what i'm talking about but uh yeah so if i zoom out on my screen we can see where we at i'm gonna go ahead and buy here so i'm gonna do a hundred dollar buy and i'm gonna go up from here on three minutes uh and as you can see right here on the right hand side where my arrow is follow this cursor uh this is where um the trade will be displayed right here all right this where it's displayed and you can see if it's green like you're winning the time is going down right here uh the reason why i bought here honestly is because of back testing i mean it's been above the 200 for a while 
So, you know, and this is the stochastic is actually curving up. So I may have got in too early. If I did, then I might just lose that one. But I believe it's going to end up going back up here. It's below the Keltner channel and all that stuff. So we'll see. All right. Uh, while that trade is playing out, let me see what else. Oh, yeah. Also up here, like whenever you click on your trades, you'll be able to go through like right now. Yeah. So I'm on your USD, but right now you can click on the OTCs, GBP, CAD. You know, you could you, you have all these ones up here. I think these are the ones that you star on the side. So if you hit the star, I think they'll pop up there. So I'll go back here with this one. And yeah, so this is a nice setup. Uh, like I say, you already know how we operate. Uh, when it comes to this, the Keltner channel, the candles are below the Keltner. They, uh, the moving average right here, the 200 moving average, the candles are above that. So since the candles are at the bottom of the Keltner, we usually expect it to go up. You know what I'm saying? I'm on a one minute time frame um, and a three minute candle. So meaning the next three candles from where I place my trade, I believe is going to be green. So I place here, then one, two, and I think we got one more candle after that that I believe is gonna be green. And if it is, then we win. If not, then we lose. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. But yeah, so this is the platform, y'all. Like I said, I got 56 seconds on this trade. So far, so good, but you know, things happen in these markets, so we shall see. But yeah, so I'm zooming out. I love having a touchscreen laptop because it's easy for me to zoom and zoom in and zoom out. Uh, I haven't found, y'all could probably find it on here. So if you ever want to zoom out, I don't think I see it yet on here. So with me having a touchscreen laptop, I'm able to do that. But so far, y'all can see this was a pretty good entry. I got 26 seconds left. So hopefully we stay above. Y'all see 20 seconds, 19, 18, 17, 16. Boy, it seems like time be going slow in the mug when you be trying to get these trades done. Boy, you be over here like, oh, man, God, can you hurry up, bro? I got 10 seconds, bro. Seven, six, five. And that should put me up there to somewhere like 380 or 400. Let me see. 382, yeah. So I'm at 382 now. Won that trade. Um, and like I was saying, the reason why I took that trade, again, let me explain this for you who may want to do it. Uh... First thing you're looking for is for this 200 moving average, right? You're looking at the 200 moving average. If the candles are above it, you know you're in the uptrend, all right? Then you want a back test. My back test is me looking at the candles on the Keltner channel, right? So I see anytime these candles came to the bottom of the Keltner channel, they usually shot up. Came to the bottom, shot up. Came to the bottom, shot up, came to the bottom and shot up. So that's just the back test. So anytime I see it get to the bottom of the Keltner channel and it's still above the 200, then I'm gonna go ahead and buy at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? The zigzag already formed. And anytime this zigzag forms, right? It's usually telling you to buy low, sell high. So like once the candles push up a little bit more, another zigzag will form. Uh, it may push up a little bit and then try to push back down. And that's just kind of how the zigzag works. Uh, you also want to look at the stochastic down here. You see how the green crossed the red and they both pushing upwards. They both pushing upwards up in here. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you're looking for too. So the, all the confirmations was there. And so I took the trade on a three minute. The reason why I took three minutes, like I said, because I'm on a one minute chart, a one minute chart and each candle represents one minute. So if I take a three minute trade, I need three candles to be above where I place my trade. So if I place the trade here, I need to count one, two, three, and I believe that at least three candles will be upward by the time the time run out. So that's that's what I'm counting on. And so you saw it at work and it was a great entry. I should have just bet the whole account and been up, up, you feel me? But it's all to the good. But yeah, so, um. I think that's pretty much it on this broker. I know they got a lot more stuff. Like I said, I'll be talking about this one a lot more as well. I do really like this broker as well, man. So make sure y'all click the link below, you know, make you an account um, and, you know, do the compound plan with both. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, again, if you are worried about manipulation on pocket options, if you feel like they manipulating you and stuff like that, then you can come over here as well uh, and just have two brokers. And that way, 
you got perks with different ones. Cause like I said, Pocket Options does a five seconds, 15 seconds, this broker doesn't. But also, like I said, you really don't have to worry about the manipulation over here or nothing. So, you know, I like both brokers, I use both. And so that's what it is, man. So hopefully this video helps you, you know. And uh, yeah, holla at your boy. Make sure y'all repenting of all y'all sins every single day, bro. Because it's important for your eternal life. You feel me? We trying to be in heaven kicking it, you know what I'm talking about? And I'm trying to see y'all up in that thing one of these days. So guess what? We lit. Holla at your boy in a new video. See you later. Peace. Going to different locations. How they got one, I need some direction. Me and Vinci go up every session. Cook it up, yeah, you know it's no pressure. Yeah, you know how we do what we all in. We can slow up and you never get.